In the drawings tab, the middle area is where the sheet is laid out and where a designer does most of the work inserting views of parts and assemblies and annotating them. The mouse controls are slightly different in a drawing than in a part studio or assembly. Click the left button to select an entity. Roll the center wheel to zoom in and out. Click the right button or hold the center wheel to pan. There is no rotate since the drawing sheet is a flat two-dimensional object. If these actions do not feel comfortable, navigate to your account preferences and adjust the mouse controls. To fit the sheet to the screen, use the keyboard shortcut F. The drawings toolbar is at the top of the drawings tab. Starting at the left, the arrow icons are used to undo and redo actions in the drawings tab. The update from this workspace icon updates the models and assemblies in the drawing sheets to reflect any changes that might have been made to the models. This is explained in further detail in a future video. The next set of commands are various view creation options. Dimensioning options provide various ways to define measurements in a drawing. Commands related to manufacturing, like weld symbols and surface finishing, are grouped together. Annotation tools like Note and Insert Bomb are next. Centerline, Centermark, and Virtual Sharp options are on the right of the toolbar. Line and Spline creation tools are also displayed. Insert imported drawing data, such as DXF or DWG, and Insert images are the final symbols to the right. Many of these tools are covered in depth in future videos in this course. To learn more about the advanced options like inserting DXF or DWG files, please navigate to the help documentation. The Drawing Properties panel is located on the right side of the white space. Click the wrench icon to open the panel. Use the Drawings Properties to adjust the default settings for the entire drawing. These settings are also captured when creating drawing templates. Notice there are options for defining units and precision, dimensions, annotations, views, construction geometry, formats, and tables. These options adjust the entire drawing, including all sheets. Note, some specific dimensions or annotations can be adjusted to use a different option when modifying it on a drawing sheet, such as adding a dual dimension to any one dimension via the dimension palette. This is explained in more detail in a future video. In Onshape, you can organize relevant sheets in a single drawing tab. To access the sheet flyout, click the sheet icon on the left side of the white space or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl S. This displays all the different sheets and views of the drawing allowing you to understand what views are projected and what parts and assemblies are being referenced. This is also where you insert new sheets. To create a new sheet, select the Insert Sheet icon at the top right corner of the sheet's flyout. To switch to another sheet, double-click on it in the sheet's flyout. Just like Drawing Properties, you can also adjust Sheets Properties. To access the Sheet Properties, right-click anywhere on a sheet, except on a view, and choose Sheet Properties. Or right-click on the name of the sheet in the sheet flyout and select Properties. Changing properties in this dialog only affects the currently displayed or selected sheet. You can change the sheet scale, sheet size, adjust the borders and zones, and view the referenced object. The referenced object is the part or assembly whose views are on the sheet. This is important when creating parametric notes using properties from the referenced object. Creating parametric notes is explained in further detail in the notes video. A specific view of a part or assembly has its own associated properties. To access the view properties, right-click on the view and select View Properties. Notice the view properties display the object that is being referenced, including the document, workspace, type, and a link to open the reference part or assembly. Inserting views are explained more in the next video.